I'm very proud of the work that we're doing at Stanford on trying to improve size matching in pediatric heart transplantation. I'm a part of a team that really is completely dedicated to a singular goal of caring for children with complex cardiac disease. I'm the type of pediatrician that you, you never want to see, and I pray to God that you never have to see me, because that means that your child's very sick. But if they are sick, you want to come to a team that's experienced, that's skilled, and has the ability to offer help. That's what I sought out in my career, is I wanted to be a member of that team. I wanted to be a part of a group of individuals that when people felt like hope was lost and their child was so sick that they didn't know what to do, that we could offer something, that we can try to find a way to get out of it together. And even though they never wanted me to be their doctor, at the end of the day when everything's done, they're happy that we were there and that we were able to provide help. I have this memory of my first couple weeks at Auburn when we had a pre-med orientation meeting. And I remember looking around and thinking that there were a lot of people that were probably far more accomplished at that point, and thinking to myself that the only way that I could succeed here is if I worked harder than everybody in that room. And I, I knew that if I did that, and I did the work, that I could succeed and achieve my goal. And that was in large part due to the fact that the faculty and the, the, the speakers during that orientation really gave you the sense that everybody had a fair chance. Everybody was capable of doing this, but it was gonna be hard and you were gonna to have to do the work. That's the thing that I always tell people, is that you always want to go to an institution that if you bring the drive and the desire, if you bring the motor, that that institution will give you traction to achieve your dream. And that's really the thing that I saw that first couple weeks at Auburn, that there was traction there and all I had to do was do the work to get into medical school. The real pathway to success is working hard when nobody's looking. It's those nights in the library. It's those nights at Parker Hall. If you can develop the work ethic to spend those nights and focus on the work, the success will come and you'll develop the fuel that will carry you through any task that comes at you down the road, whether it be medical school or residency, fellowship, or being on call and doing a heart transplant. Please help me welcome to the stage the 2021 Young Alumni Achievement Award recipient, John Dykes. Good evening, everyone. After 20 years of moving around the country, I've gained a deep appreciation for places like Auburn, and I just want to start by saying it is so nice to be home. I'd like to thank Auburn University and the Alumni Association for this prestigious award. I'd also like to congratulate the Lifetime Achievement Award recipients and their families. Their work and representation of the Auburn family is truly inspiring. I'm humbled and honored to be a part of this ceremony. Being here over the last couple of days has resulted in a flood of memories from my years at Auburn. This is a very special place for me. The unique way this institution can impact young people by transforming their intrinsic drive into tangible skills and achievements is truly incredible. I'm a direct product of this, and all of my subsequent success is because of the work ethic and critical thinking I first developed here at Auburn. While there are countless people at Auburn that impacted my life and shaped who I am today, 
I'd like to specifically acknowledge two individuals, Ms. Beverly Childress and Dr. Larry Witt, who are both here tonight. Ms. Childress, thank you. Ms. Childress is responsible for preparing me to get into medical school. I remember sitting in her office where she very clearly laid out what I needed to do in order to achieve this goal. Every time I meet with a student who wants to be a doctor, I try to emulate Mrs. Childress's combination of support, optimism, and practicality. Her advice and counseling played a huge role in my success, along with countless other Auburn students who have gone on to wonderful careers in healthcare. And Dr. Witt, I can confidently say you are one of the best educators I've come across in my career. And trust me, I've sat in a lot of lectures over the last 20 years. As a physician, part of my mandate is to continuously educate trainees. It is through my own efforts to teach that I've come to further admire your masterful skills. I hope that someday I'm as effective of a mentor and an educator as you were for me. Thank you both for what you have done for me and countless other individuals who have passed through this great university. I've been truly blessed with a loving family who are here with me tonight. I'd like to thank my parents, Ann and Ron Dykes, for their constant support and encouragement, no matter how far-fetched my endeavors may have seemed at the time. <laughs> I certainly didn't make it easy for them, but thank God they never gave up on me. My dad graduated from Auburn in 1969 and somehow always found a way to bring Auburn into the conversation when it came time for college applications. <laughs> Listening to his advice was clearly one of the better decisions during my adolescence. Thanks, Mom and Dad. My, my older brother, Brian, is here tonight. Brian has achieved immense success with UPS and has a beautiful family with four healthy boys, including his oldest, Colin, who made the trip down to Auburn. Thank you, Brian, for your support over the years. I'd also like to acknowledge the very large team I'm a part of at Stanford University Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. I take a lot of pride in being a part of this fantastic team that provides top-level care for children with advanced heart failure, including those requiring mechanical circulatory support and heart transplantation. It really does take a small village to care for these patients, and I'm so thankful for the skill and dedication of each member of this team. Each and every one of them inspires me to be a better doctor, and of course, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, Nicole. Nicole and I welcomed our first son, James, this past February, who's the one drooling over there, and <laughs> somewhere over there. <laughs> Nicole and I met while we were both working at St. Jude Children's Hospital in Memphis, and, and my life has been better in every way since. Taking care of heart failure and heart transplant children can be very difficult at times from an emotional standpoint. The job would be impossible if it weren't for your love and support. Thank you for putting me up with the calls in the middle of the night, nights when I'm stuck in the hospital and the long hours. Thank you for always lending your ear when I need to talk, your shoulder when I need to sleep, and your heart when mine is bruised from losing a patient. You and James are everything to me, and I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your love, dedication, and support. So thank you, to, thank you again to the Auburn Alumni Association for this prestigious award and this wonderful night with my Auburn family and War Eagle.